Once installation of MacroWorks 3.1 is complete, you can launch it either by pressing the programming button on the top edge of the X keys or by selecting the icon from the taskbar menu. The first time you open it, you'll be asked to choose between software and hardware modes. Choose software mode for the most features and if the X keys will stay on the same computer most of the time. Choose hardware mode if you want to move the X keys freely between computers and if you only need keystrokes, mouse commands, or joystick actions. You can change modes at any time from the menu in MacroWorks if you change your mind. You can select the Don't Show Me Again checkbox to keep this message from annoying you every time you open MacroWorks. The main window opens in layout view with an image of your X keys. Any keys which are programmed will be indicated by a blue check mark. From this window, you can select any key on the X keys to program with a double click. Right clicking on a key brings up a host of options including copy, paste, and adding or removing large keys and key blockers. Legends view shows you a text approximation of what you've programmed on the keys. Double clicking a key in this view will open the legend maker utility. Macro list view offers a view of every macro programmed with more information about each macro. Unit data view shows important information about the X keys and has some global controls for setting backlighting color and intensity. If you have more than one X keys device connected, the device pull-down will allow you to select which X keys you want to program. The layers pull-down allows you to program on a second layer and you can program a key to toggle or shift between layers. The application pull-down allows you to program a macro to play only in a specific application. Any macros programmed for an application will only be sent if that application is in focus. MacroWorks automatically saves changes to your programming script every time you close it, but the file menu also has options for saving a copy to share or to move with your X keys to another computer. You will also find the options for reading and writing macros to the X keys if you're in hardware mode. The mode menu allows you to switch between software and hardware mode. The tools menu offers a number of useful utilities. The window menu gives you an alternative method for switching between views, as well as a link to our script code editor and a rotate option for those X keys which support different orientations. More information about all these features can be found in our help files. Selecting a key, either by pressing that key on the X keys or double clicking its image, will open up the macro programming window. A simple macro could be inserting a block of text or special character, sending keystrokes, or a shortcut to a file, directory, or web address, or a special function. More complex macros can be built by stringing events together, as we did in this key. Text is very useful for inserting blocks of text and Unicode characters. Keystrokes are required whenever modifier keys like Control, Alt, or Shift are used, or the Tab key. Shortcuts are paths to files, directories, and web addresses. And functions can be delays, repeats, or special features we've added. When you finish programming a key, there are three ways to save your macro. You can click the Save button. You can press the same key you started with on the X keys. Or you can select a new key on the X keys for programming. This will save your macro and open up that new key for programming. This is a handy trick for programming multiple keys quickly. Another feature of MacroWorks is that you don't have to close it to test text and keystroke macros. Just open an application, press the key you program to test it. This is very helpful for programming complicated macros with multiple steps. And that's the end of our quick tour. Please see our other tutorials or consult the help file for more information on all these features.